This is astronaut ice cream. And I'm going to eat some here in a moment, and we'll see how it is. But first, a little bit of archaeology. Astronaut ice cream is freeze-dried ice cream, and it was developed by Whirlpool for the Apollo program. Reportedly, at least one astronaut asked if they could have ice cream up in space. So Whirlpool started working on some option, and they came up with freeze-drying ice cream. Now, here's the surprise. As far as we can tell, no one ever actually ate astronaut ice cream in space. I don't think it ever actually made it up into space. There are no records of it getting there. Uh, reportedly, astronauts tried it and kind of went like this. No. So sadly, our fine astronauts never got a chance to eat astronaut ice cream, at least not officially. But we get to try it. You'll often find this in museum gift shops and such. Uh, I'm sure you can find it online. I found this at the Smithsonian, actually. And uh, this is Neapolitan. You can often get, I think, vanilla and chocolate as well as that. And we'll see what we get. Here's the packaging. Let's go ahead and rip this open. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. And we'll pull out our little package. Uh, sadly, looks like, yeah, it's all crumpled and destroyed in uh, transit. That's a shame. But uh, you get the idea, basically, an, an ice cream bar, but freeze-dried, completely dry. So there's no, uh, yeah, there's uh, no moisture in that whatsoever. So let's try it. Okay, so I'm starting with a little bit of cookie and a little bit of vanilla. Hmm, it's not bad. I expected a chalky sensation, but it kind of melts on the tongue. Um, so it's dry, you know, it's not particularly nice, but it, the problem is ice cream is creamy, and it doesn't feel creamy. But you do get an, a vanilla flavor to it, um, and it's not unpleasant. Let's try the strawberry, and this time I have a big chunk so I can actually uh, chow down on this in real ice cream sandwich fashion. There's a lot of strawberry flavor, so that's good. Ironically, the cookie doesn't help. The cookie kind of gets in the way. There's so much of it and it just really overwhelms the mouth with that cracky, crackly, crunchy element. I'd rather just have the ice cream straight, honestly. Um, okay, let's try the chocolate. And this is actually the, the best preserved of this much of the thing. Came right off. Decent chocolate flavor. Not complex at all. Yeah, this would be better without the cookie. I think if we just had blocks of the ice cream that you could just... It would be fine. I also see now exactly the problem why this wouldn't go on space. And I think Chris Hadfield talked about this as well. Check this out. Look at how crumbly and dusty this is. Imagine this in a zero-G environment where all these pieces are starting to now fly off everywhere um, and get into people's eyes, you know, on the ISS or in the space shuttle. This would be uh, a nightmare, <laughs> frankly. And it would get behind equipment, and it would get into to crevices and things like that. So this does not make sense. Obviously, you could be, um, you could be careful about eating it. You know, so let, let's try this. Let's experiment. So let's say, again, it's kind of... There, so this is a little crumbly. Let's actually... Okay, so that piece fell off. So this is a whole piece. Oh, there we go. Let's just very carefully eat this. Okay, so I could eat that without creating shards. Let's try a larger piece.
No, I can tell they're, yep, they're little pieces of this starting to fall off. So, this is not a good idea in space, sadly. But, the flavor's there. It's certainly not unpleasant. Um, it's just, you know, no better than, and that, that's the problem, I think, is I would rather have a candy bar, right? I'd rather have just chocolate. You can take the space easily enough. So, good idea, Whirlpool. But unfortunately, freeze dried ice cream just doesn't make much sense. I would love to see what freeze dried, freeze -dried ice cream is like on its own. Um, but that is astronaut ice cream. So, now you know. <laughs>